Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi on this beautiful Berwick day, nice and sunny out today, nice change. My name is Mark Hoffman and today I'm here to take you around our 2011 VRX Pajero. A lot of features to talk about on this car, I'm sure you'll be very impressed. Having inquired on the car, you already know it's great value for money. This video is going to be mostly about quality and condition. At the front of the car, the bonnet presents in brilliant condition, no signs of stone chips, nick scratches or anything like that. It is fitted with a TJM nudge bar, which you can see from the inside of the vehicle making parking the car nice and easy. It does have spaces here for say a UHF and maybe a little light bar make nice and functional. Down the bottom we do have our we have our chrome fog lights there. And one thing to note this car is fitted with factory HID low beam headlights as well making night driving a pleasure especially if you're towing that caravan at night time. Nice and easy. Coming around the side of the vehicle no signs of damage scratches nicks or anything like that. Front wheel here unmarked brilliant condition the front tire obviously we've got cooper discover at3s all around this vehicle massive oh my shadow's in the way there but massive amounts of tire tread depth at the front as well a really good all-terrain tire actually the at3s coming down the side of the vehicle struggling to find any scratches or nicks we've got a very minor one just here a couple of little tiny little hairline scratches but i think i'm being pretty brutal on it here and a slight bit here on the back of the door you do get that occasionally when someone's opened the door does look like it has been touched up though i'm being pretty picky at that point though my camera is a lot taller than i am so i'll get him to have a quick look at the roof for you you will see up there we do have the factory fitted uh, roof rails we don't have crossbars but you can have a chat to our part department if you did want a bit more storage space down the bottom we do sorry to go from the top straight to the bottom there lynn we do have the side step does have a minor mark just in the middle there coming down to the back wheel here brilliant condition alloy wheel no signs of damage there yet again a really good condition at3 tire at the back one thing you will notice at the back of this vehicle has had the heavy duty rear springs added to the car which has increased the rake a little bit lifted the back a little bit on the car you'll see if we go in here it's a bit hard to see lynn from where you are you might need to go from the back but they're nice and red but it does lift the rear up, making the car a much better tow vehicle. At the back of the car now, oh, Lynn's actually telling me he's going to have a look from underneath. Here we go, we don't often do this. Nice red springs there, heavy duty of course, so ready to tow your van. One thing while we're there, you will notice we do have a, a tow plug here as well as an Anderson plug here at the back. So pre-wired, ready to go for your van. We like to see that. Tow hits of course, three ton tow rating, hence why we have the sticker on the front say you're gonna need a bigger boat. VRX bad, direct inject turbo diesel, rear sensors of course across the back as well, making parking this car easy as. One thing to note, obviously it's got the tow kit fitted, they've done it properly, they've had the rear tyre lift, so you'll notice the tyre sits up the top, not down the bottom, giving you a bit more room with the tow bar and a little bit easier to open the rear door when you've got your um, tow hitch fitted. Opening the door up now, pop it over there, nice and easy to use. Do have the bolt covers there to um, get into the rear tire. In here, a little space for say a medical kit or something like that. Nice little space they give you there. Two of the speakers, we'll get into that in a minute. Coming into the back of the car now. As you'll see, we do have child, three child seat anchor points, two of which are fitted to the vehicle. Tie downs everywhere. On the right hand side, we have a 12 volt socket. Now, depending on how you want to set this car up, it can be very versatile. You can have it as a five chair, a seven chair. You can have it as a five chair and remove the third row if you want. But we'll give a quick demonstration. Pop that out of there, lift that up, fold that in there, lift that up. We're a seven chair, that quickly. You will notice the headrests are fitted down here. Leather, of course, all three rows. If you wanted to and gain that space, you can actually pull the third row out with just a couple of clips. So what I'll do again is we'll just fold it back, pop that there, pop that there, fold that in, knock that down, grab my little board here. Now that's probably taken all of 20 seconds, including talking time, to turn it from a five chair to a seven chair and back again. Really easy. One thing to note while we're back here, it does have factory fitted Rockford Fosgate audio system in the car as well. So if you like your music, definitely the car for you. Let's close the tailgate and move on along. Down the passenger side of the vehicle, this is commonly the side we do see damage because that horrible concrete thing we call a gutter. None of that here presents brilliantly. Rear wheel unmarked, can't find a hint of stone scratch or anything like that. Brilliant condition, AT3 tire at the back yet again. Um, no signs of scratches, dents or nicks down the side of the vehicle either. Rear side, side step presenting very, very well. 
Coming down to the last of the wheels now, brilliant condition wheel here, no signs of damage at all, and yet again, a brilliant condition Cooper AT3 tyre. So all the way around this vehicle, very, very impressed. Right around to the front of the Pajero now, I've cheated a little bit by opening the bonnet. As you can see, we are looking at a 3.2 litre direct inject common rail turbo diesel. What that's going to give you is 147 kilowatts of power, 441 newton meters of torque, and out of this big four-wheel drive, you're going to get nine liters to the hundred on the average cycle, giving you in excess of 970 kilometers of average driving range. But before you go, I did mention that the car had an Anderson plug at the back, obviously ready to set up with your van if you have one. With a big N70 battery here, nice big cranking battery, and down there we do have the voltage sensitive relay already set up, ready to go for your van. Right inside the Pajero now, it's such a comfortable place to be as well. These cars are set up as touring vehicles. The further north you go, the more of these towing caravans you'll see. And you no wonder why when you finally sit in one and realize just how good it is. Um, we'll start off with the center here in the steering wheel. Nice leather wrapped steering wheel, of course, with silver accents, of course. We've got on the right hand side, we have our cruise control. And down the bottom, Bluetooth phone and voice control. Left side, we have our media controls, of course. If I reach down here, underneath there, you do have a little lever, which you can adjust for obviously height adjust on the vehicle as well. Generally, I set it to the top and it'd be nice and comfortable. On the left side, automatic wipers at the front of this car, of course, you just adjust the severity of them there and rear wiper there. On the right hand side, I don't know why people turn their headlights off in these cars, you have auto, at least leave them on auto. They will come on at night time, if it is raining, you are in a grey car, probably suggest you turn your headlights on, but automatic will work most of the time. Indicators, of course. In the centre, we have a nice, um, easy to read dash cluster there, 100 kilometres at the top, nice easy uh, taco as well. Currently showing that we're in rear wheel drive and the car has uh, 87,700 kilometres on it. Coming across to the right hand side now, uh, mirror controls, they do fold in, we have electric fold. Little trick with a Pajero, hit lock three times, they will fold in, unlock three times, they will unfold for you, good in a car park. Um, fold them back out of course. We have front and rear fog light, good if you're in the snow or like um, driving with them on I suppose. Four door power windows of course, a little button there to lock your doors if you're driving somewhere unsavory. But um, Berwick's such a nice place, we'll just leave the doors unlocked I think. Coming across now, and over here, we have a little parking sonar off. Brin, if you've got the trailer on, so uh, the car doesn't think you're reversing into yourself, and I like that one. Stability control, you can turn it off, can be useful if you're off-road. Over and into the centre now, Len. Uh, in this center um, little console here, still yet to find out what Mitsubishi call this, but it's got everything in it. Clock, compass, temperature. If you go through it, you get your elevation, you get your barometer, you get the date, that's wrong. 2006, geez, we are back in the past. Um, uh, fuel economy, range, everything in here as well. Quite a nice little setup there, actually. Coming down, keyword here, Rockford Fosgate. Brilliant audio in this car, has subwoofer at the back, so you can definitely drown out the kids and enjoy the trip for yourself. Down from there, climate control, single zone, which does have rear. A lot of seven seat SUVs, including Pajero's, you had to option this in, does have rear vents for the third row seats in this car as well. Coming down from there, we've got a little nook to hide a box and then your business card, very Japanese. Down from there, my favorite option in a car, brilliant thing. If you wake up, if you've got a sore back in the morning, pop the heated seat on, you'll get to work so much better in a move. Down from there, we've got our shifter, of course. D for drive, we also have manual mode over there. So if you're towing the van, you come to a hill, you can lock it in third or fourth gear, just so you can use the torque of this big motor to power up the hill. Pop it into park there. On the left, got our four-wheel drive system. Too high, where are you gonna drive most of the time? Four high if you're in, say, a wet road or a dirt road. Four high locked center, you're sort of on paddocks at that point, or tracks. And then above that, you've got four low locked center, which is, um, we're pretty keen in the off-roading ability of the car at that point. Um, two giant cup holders, and those seats are really warming up. I might just go to low there. In the center here, we've got many buttons here, actually. We've got one that brings it forward. Nice leather wrap, no signs of wear, of course. Good as an armrest. Pop that up. Got a little carpeted nook there for all of your many things. Go to the third little nook. You get a massive hole down there. 12 volt socket, of course. Great for charging the phone. What I'm going to get my camera to do is zoom around the interior now. We'll notice, as I mentioned before, the front seats are heated. We have leather with white stitching and cloth in the center. So you get the bonuses of nice cloth in the, in the center for comfort, but the look of leather as well. Down the bottom, we have brilliant condition carpets. Does have factory floor mats, both front and rear. Door trims presenting very, very well. Rear seat presents very, very well. 
do have some minor marks on the roof lining there, but on the roof, we'll get my camera to spin around quickly over to the front here, does have roof mount DVD as well. So this thing is very close to the Exceed inspect. Only thing it's missing really is the uh, leather center. It does have the roof mount DVD. While we're coming back, better jump into the service books. Pretty important book in these cars, I'd say. All right. Going along to the, because Mitsubishi's all the way at the back, but not quite. It's a bit of an odd book, the Mitsubishi books. All right, 15,000 kilometer service, done. 30, done. 45, done. 60, done. And then 63, it was done again. And then at 85, done. So sort of done in the middle there. Also looks like the valve clearances were done at the 63,000 kilometer service as well. And I missed one. There was another one done at 40. So it's actually had some excessive servicing done to the vehicle as well. Very, very good service history. Thank you for watching this video walk around tour of our 2011 Pajero VRX. As you've seen, exceptional condition outside, ready to go, all-terrain tyres, dual battery setup, ray springs in the back, ready to tow your van on your next tour. One thing to note, here at Berwick Mitsubishi, we definitely are the place to buy a Pajero. This is just a preview of the range of our Pajeros in stock at the moment, but definitely with the VRX, a little bit top of the line, a lot of the features you definitely want in your touring vehicle. Do give us a call, 9907 0555. But before you go, don't forget to ask your salesperson about a five-year mechanical protection plan this car does qualify for, which now includes 10 years of roadside assistance. That number again, 9907 0555. And thank you for watching.